Wake Forest. Wake Forest gets a win. And, you know, I, I, I thought we were about to see some Carrier Dome magic here because Syracuse yeah. uh, has vastly improved themselves from the beginning of the season until now. And their defense has been better. I, I will tell you this. Garrett Schrader, the transfer from Mississippi State, that come or they came in as a quarterback, 29 carries for 178 yards for him and one touchdown. He threw uh, 15 out of 27 for 160 yards, two touchdowns. Sean Tucker, the running back, 26 carries, 153 yards, two touchdowns. They were awesome. But Wake Forest was just a smidge better. Just a smidge better. I was uh, I was a little bit shocked at, at, at what happened here. I thought Wake Forest should have been able to handle this game. But obviously, road environment. Syracuse has been playing better. Syracuse 3-3 three and three on the season right now. But Wake Forest... Six and up. they are four and zero oh in the ACC for the first time, I believe, ever. If I'm not mistaken, it, but if it if it has happened before, I'll tell you this: it was a long, long time ago. Dave Clawson is another one that you need to be watching out for as far as jobs. I think, I think we might begin to see a shift not towards like the young and up and coming guy, but the guy that can provide stability. Mark Stoops, Dave Clawson, guys like that that know how to build programs. That's that's where I would look. And not to talk about Wake Forest in a way of like, hey, these other programs are going to come steal your coach. Obviously, we don't want that. Football is good when Wake Forest is good as well. Like, just the same as when LSU is good. Same hang as on, when you've, got to, you've, got, you've got to, but you've got to pay those guys, right? Right. Like, yeah. I know you're Wake Forest. I know you're a small school. You make a good amount of money in the ACC. You're not, you're not the SEC schools. But, but you're, you're still making a lot of money. If North Carolina rolled in and Mac Brown retired and they'd steal your coach away and he doesn't even have to move homes, he just stays in the same state, you know, like, like that's on you. That's not on them. Yeah. No, you're, you're right. You're 100% right. Syracuse in this game, by the way, 354 yards rushing. That's what did it for him. Wake only had 96. If you look at the advanced stats, Syracuse wins this game 86% of the time with the, with yeah. the same stats. It, it was pretty pretty remarkable. But Wake Crazy Forest had game, great explosive game. plays. And, yeah. Yeah. We, you know, we, but we, you and I kind of thought this was going to be a really exciting game, though. So. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. We, we certainly did. Certainly did. Uh, Wake Forest, by the way, average starting field position, 66.5 for them. So, so they basically started... It, <laughs> About 35-yard line, like every time. It's just insane. Uh, And Syracuse started at like their own 22 on average, which that's a lot of yards to make up. I was going to say, that's a big difference. Big, big difference for uh, for average field position. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.